fact that all these documents are said to be in our custody and therefore we are not entitled to it. You had the two witnesses that have testified so far. Both of them, for example, have said the Form 13. They have never seen or signed the Form 13. And that is at least one document that we don't have in our custody, the most important document of all. We've never seen it. Again, we've made it clear that we were not part of whatever discussions happened at the EC when the different corrections were made. And therefore, we need to see the basis for those corrections. Well, we've been denied that opportunity by the, the, the court. But that's not the end. We'll still continue with, with, with our case. The EC is supposed to be an impartial part of this whole election process. What do they have to hide? What prejudice will be occasioned to them if they produce the documents for us to see? None whatsoever. If you conducted your activities as EC, as EC chair, fairly, transparently, impartially, why will you not produce the documents for us to see? We still think we have a very strong case. We are very, very certain about the case we have before the court. Irrespective of the fact that our applications have been refused, we came to court prepared. We are ready to continue with the case and we will go through with the case till the very end.